good morning we begin with accounting for taxes and income okay uh, this is one of the examinable area where you may get an mcq question essay type question may not be possible but uh, definitely you will get an mcq based on this before we go for this we uh, prepare books of accounts or we call it as financial accounting while recording incomes or expenses we record something called as accrual basis what do you mean by accrual basis we record the income on due basis for example incomes that are accrued expenses that are accrued okay will be recognized and you will work out profit before tax on this less tax we will work out profit after tax okay so for example if uh, let's assume collection if the income is collected for 11 months only okay but in accounting we record 12 months income okay so we record whatever is the income which are receivable for the year including that one month income for example credit sales you not have collected the money but still we will record it as an income okay <coughs> uh, see sometimes uh, income you would have made a fixed deposit in the bank we, would have, we are yet to collect it but still we will record it as an income on accrual basis we will record it due basis we will record it like that expenses are paid for 13 months for example 12 months expenses plus one month advance is paid it can be a salary advance or a rental advance or advance for purchase of goods etc but we will record only 12 months expenses so we match okay this we call it as matching concept incomes matching okay so where uh, you will record 12 months income whatever belongs to current year and uh, you will record the 12 months expenses and work out the profit before tax on that you will apply the tax rate it may be 30 percent 40 percent depending upon the laws that are applicable to you for that year you will work out and profit after tax is calculated this is what we do it in financial accounting this is what we do it in uh, financial accounting clear Ex incomes and expenses are recognized on accrual basis and we work out the profit but for federal tax laws how income is worked out incomes sometimes the federal tax laws will say accrual or cash whichever is earlier for example let's assume you collected uh, you are giving a rented premise your company is having a rented uh, i mean uh, i mean having an additional building which is let out you collected 14 months rent then income tax department will say you pay the tax for the 14 months tent sir current year is only 12 months yeah agreed current year is only 12 months but you collected 14 months rent you pay the tax for that so federal tax laws might say rule like this it changes year to year okay accrual or cash whichever is earlier same way expenses sometimes on accrual basis it is allowed sometimes only on payment basis it is allowed for example whenever there is a a tax payment like value added taxes okay in india we call it as gst for tax payments statutory payments payments to be made as per some law like bonus or uh, compensation to workers gratuity and things like that okay so the federal tax laws will allow you to claim only on payment basis but whereas in accounting for example if bonus is due we can record it bonus payable to employees even though it is outstanding we can record as an expense but uh, in federal tax laws uh, the tax laws might allow only on payment basis only on what basis payment basis so this creates a difference between accounting profit and taxable profit timing difference what do you mean by timing difference time of claiming in accounting is different from time of claiming it in tax otherwise time of recognizing in accounting is different from time of claiming it for tax purposes for example bonus if it is outstanding 
okay we can we are going to charge it in pnl account on accrual basis in the current year itself but if you don't pay it for tax purpose you can claim only in the subsequent financial year only in the subsequent financial year when actual payment is made okay so this is called as timing difference so sometimes in accounting that expense is claimed first later on you claim it for tax purposes okay this can be like this sometimes for tax it is recognized first for example incomes okay so uh, 12 months rent only we'll record in accounting 12 months income only we'll record in accounting but for tax we'll record whatever is collected because that is what is tax law you have to pay so uh, incomes may be sometimes first recognized in tax subsequently it will be recognized in accounts in this example i told you if you would have collected 14 months rent okay only 12 months we will be take it for accounting but 14 months we will take it for tax 14 months we will take it for tax this is called as timing difference this also due to permanent difference sir what do you mean by permanent difference for example if you pay any bribe that is illegal okay if you pay any penalty okay or if you pay any uh, default payments not uh, default payment with a, a counter party or third party default payment uh, with respect to tax or with respect to anything that is payable to the government okay or sometimes you know uh, for example uh, certain expenses like uh, for example uh, it may be a personal nature or it may be more than the allowed limits for example you would have claimed remuneration to people more than the allowed limits that will be disallowed as per federal tax laws so these things are permanently different what do you mean by permanently different they are permanently disallowed disallowed means not allowed for tax purpose but we will claim it for accounting purpose we paid a penalty we paid some bribe we will still claim it for accounting purpose for example if you make cash payment in us exceeding 1000 dollars exceeding 1000 dollars that expenses cannot be claimed that expenses cannot be claimed but still in accounting you may approve and claim it so that is called as what permanent difference permanent difference cannot be set off why permanent difference cannot be set off this year not allowed next year also not allowed next 5 years also that expense cannot be claimed but timing difference this year in income tax would not have been allowed it would not have been allowed but in the subsequent year it may be allowed for example let us take bonus it is outstanding it is for the current year it is payable will you claim it for financial accounting purpose yes you will claim it for financial accounting purpose for the purpose of tax law can you claim it you can claim it when the payment is made suppose if the payment is made in the subsequent year you can claim it like that it can be adjusted it can be adjusted either in the next year or two years or later or three years later like that so in this particular uh, accounting for taxes and income we are going to talk only about temporary differences we are going to talk only about temporary differences or timing differences okay timing difference is also known as temporary difference which we are going to talk about and permanent differences permanently disallowed items permanently the income or expense that cannot be recognized okay that we are not going to talk about so whatever can be adjusted we are going to talk about so what is the, so i request you to note this you can pass the lecture and note it okay then what is the objective of learning this what is the objective of learning this simple in financial accounting we record the income on what basis accrual basis we record the income on what basis accrual basis okay uh, we work out profit before tax let's assume it comes to 50 lakhs okay for tax loss we don't follow any accrual basis or cash basis we just follow tax loss let's assume the profit before tax comes to 60 lakhs okay 60 million let us keep it in uh, us denominations itself okay let's assume there is no uh, there is no permanent difference only timing difference is there this may be because of for example in accounts some expenses are claimed but for tax this can be claimed only in the next year on payment basis that's why the profit is more for tax purpose let's assume tax is at the rate of uh, 30% tax is at the rate of 30% so how much will be the tax 15 million is the tax this is on accrual basis 
otherwise this is what we want to pay we want to pay okay but as per the as far as the tax i mean uh, federal tax laws are concerned you have to pay 60 million into 30 percent 18 million you have to pay this is based on tax laws based on tax laws this is what you have to pay you have to pay now the question is how much should be charged in pnl account how much should be charged in pnl account 15 million or 18 million will you charge 15 million in pnl account because that is what is the profit that is what is the tax that is payable on accrual basis this is what we want to pay but you have to pay as per the tax laws 18 million the 10 million of profit will get adjusted in the future not now so how much should be recorded in the pnl account how much should be recorded in the pnl account you are paying 18 million so will you charge the entire 18 million in the pnl account no okay so uh, the accounting aims at tax also on accrual basis tax also on accrual basis for example if you look at tax expense account data if you was a journal entry tax expense account debit how much you want to pay 15 million but how much you have to pay to cash or bank how much you have to pay 18 million you have to pay okay the difference the difference will be adjusted towards future obligations okay this uh, expense that gets claimed in uh, accounting but not for tax purpose will be allowed later so this becomes a deferred tax asset deferred tax asset account data you will create 3 million okay so this deferred tax of asset will ap appear as an asset in the balance sheet we will show it as an asset okay this much we will claim it in pnl account and this much of cash flow will take place okay so if you look at once again i repeat how much is on accrual basis 15 million that is a tax payable but how much you have to pay as per the tax law 18 million you got to pay so uh, you want to pay 15 million that is what is on accrual basis you can recognize in pnl account tax expense account data okay to cash or bank you have to pay 18 million the extra amount that is paid will be created in the form of deferred tax asset and please remember it is only for temporary timing differences permanent differences cannot be set up permanent differences cannot be set up okay suppose if it is other way okay i request you to copy this so simple when want to pay is greater than sorry less than have to pay you have to create a deferred tax asset you have to create a deferred tax asset otherwise accounting profit is lesser than taxable profit accounting profit is accounting profit means as per the books of accounts if the profit is lesser than the taxable profit then you have to create a deferred tax asset otherwise accrual basis profit is less than tax base profit then you have to pay you have to create a deferred tax asset so please note this these are the most important points okay if not i request you to pass this and copy many students were asking sir can you share the excel sheet or the working that we do in the class if i share this then you will not take up notes if you don't take up the notes then the point will not go to your mind the point will not go to your mind see during the class you will be having psych outs etc and all and the notes which are there with you will be used as a reference material when you go for examination or uh, 10 or 15 days before exam you can just recollect the notes easily but whereas if you if you just store it in the form of video or in the electronic form 
it is difficult it is difficult for you to access it based on the past experience i am telling you that's why i request you to pass the lecture and copy it okay suppose if it is the other way let us take this is as uh, accounting profit taxable profit if accounting profit is 80 million how much will be the tax 24 lakhs will 24 million will be the tax payable 80 million into 30 percent 24 million is the tax this is what you want to pay okay for tax purpose 60 million is there 60 million is only there which means only 18 million you have to pay sir how it is possible it is possible for example let us assume your profit before depreciation and taxes for accounting purpose and tax purpose was common it was like 100 million okay then you can claim depreciation on assets okay if you purchase an asset based on the economic life of the asset we claim depreciation let us assume for accounting purpose we claimed 20 million depreciation we claimed 20 million depreciation let's assume the asset value is like uh, 40 million asset value is like 40 million okay 50 percent uh, declining method we are following so 50 percent will be 20 million okay the asset name is planned and machinery otherwise planned property and equipment 40 million was purchased in accounting we claimed based on WDV method okay first year 50 percent we claimed 20 million for tax purpose see uh, as per federal tax law not only as per federal tax law as far as Indian tax law is concerned if the plant and machinery is purchased for the purpose of research and development for the purpose of research and development full cost can be written off full cost can be written off for tax purpose okay for an example i am telling these tax laws you need not be knowing you need you need not have a knowledge of taxation international taxation or us taxation you need not have a knowledge just for an example i am telling so in accounting as per the accounting policy how much we claimed 20 million for tax how much we claimed 100 million so what is the profit 80 million as per accounts and 60 million as per tax law so there's a chance that your accounting profit will be more than taxable profit also so tax expense when you create a journal entry tax expense account data how much it will be 24 million okay two okay how much of cash you have to pay how much of cash you have to pay 18 million the remaining one will be called as to defer tax liability defer tax liability this obligation will increase in the future see uh, in accounting we claimed 20 million out of 40 million uh, value of asset we created or we charged 20 million remaining amount we can keep claiming in the next year 40 million out of the 40 million cost 20 million got allocated remaining amounts will be claimed as per the accounting policy but for tax purpose 40 million is the cost of the asset purchased towards that asset you claimed 100 percent depreciation in the first year itself so no depreciation will be allowed in the second year or subsequent years so where your obligation of tax will go up so we create a deferred tax liability or in simple words if you have to put it the same thing just change the symbol if accrual basis profit is greater than tax based profit or accounting profit is greater than tax based profit want to pay is more than the have to pay then you would create a deferred tax liability clear so please note this most important part so if accounting profit is more than taxable profit if accounting profit is more than taxable profit then we have to create a deferred tax liability so based on this let me to create a table okay i request you to copy this you tell me whether it is a deferred tax liability or deferred tax asset okay probably my face appearance is not required for the rest of the session so let me to go off situation is it a deferred tax asset or deferred tax liability
ओके सिचुएशन नंबर वन Will it be a deferred tax asset or deferred tax liability? This we had seen. First two, three situations will be basic. It will be a deferred tax liability. Okay. Please note this. It will be a deferred tax asset. There is another way of telling. this one also you can tell the other way this is an alternative way of interpreting but the main is this one if accounting profit is more than taxable profit if accounting profit is more than taxable profit then create a deferred tax liability if accounting profit is less than the taxable profit less than the taxable profit then create a deferred tax asset third situation okay you have to be very careful in answering the third situation an expense is claimed first in accounting instead of using the word claimed we can say recognized charged first in accounting then later on in tax what will happen if the expense is recognized first in accounting okay which means accounting profit will be less than taxable profit you always analyze in the consequence of uh, profit what will happen to the uh, profit based on that so accounting profit will be less than the taxable profit it will create a deferred tax asset on the other hand an expense is recognized or charged first in tax and later on in accounts so you are here what will happen what will happen expenses first recognized for tax purpose later on in accounts which means your taxable profit will be less than accounting profit it will create a defer tax liability it will create a defer tax liability number 5 an income is recognized that is credited in p and l account first in accounts and later on tax so what will happen income is recognized first in accounts then in tax what will happen accounting profit will be higher than taxable profit accounting profit will be higher than taxable profit so it will create a deferred tax liability an expense sorry an income first recognized in tax and then in accounts so it will have impact of taxable profit will have will be more than taxable profit will be more than accounting profit so it will create a deferred tax asset Okay 
then these are all basic situations where we can easily identify now let me to go with examples you will understand you will you will uh, you tell me is it a deferred tax asset or deferred tax liability okay as per books of accounts and as per tax law amount recorded in pnl account or tax okay let us take the tax rate of 30% okay first example salary in accounts we recognized 150000 okay for tax we recognized on payment basis only 120000 dollars so it will create what will happen what will happen we have claimed impact detail like that we can classify so what is impact your accounting profit will be less than taxable profit accounting profit is less than taxable profit so when accounting profit is less than taxable profit so will you create a deferred tax asset or deferred tax liability deferred tax asset how much you will create the difference so this is the deferred tax asset you will create see amount charged in accounts is more than the tax so it will create a deferred tax asset of 30% on the difference bonus that is claimed in accounts on accrual basis is 1 lakh and last year bonus is paid in this year so we claimed 1 lakh 40000 dollars for tax purpose so what will happen here your tax profit will be less than accounting profit so it will create a deferred tax liability so how much 30% on the difference 30% on the difference okay next one sales revenue on accrual basis we recorded it came to 180000 but uh, for tax purpose for tax purpose even advance receipts are treated as income let us assume okay 240000 is taken so what will happen here you can either say accounting profit is less than taxable profit accounting profit is less than taxable profit or you can say taxable profit is more than accounting profit so whatever it is it will create a defer tax liability it will create a defer tax liability how much it will be the difference between these two into 30% so why 30% that is what is the expense don't take the full amount so 30% defer tax liability it will create so i request you to pause this and copy then we will proceed further so this is based on pnl account this is based on pnl account directly we work out so whether accounting profit will be higher or taxable profit will be higher all those things and please remember these are all temporary differences okay for example in accounts 150 tax 120000 that the difference of 30000 will be adjusted in the subsequent year this can be in next year or two years later or three years later timing difference can be adjusted within next one year or next five years or next 10 years also but it will definitely get adjusted that is called as timing difference permanent differences cannot be adjusted i'll give the next one penalty paid 
we claimed 1 lakh for tax purpose sorry accounting purpose for tax 0 this is let us assume disallowed disallowed means not allowed for tax purpose so which means no DTA DTL can be created no DTL or no DTA nothing can be created because it's a permanent difference only for the different temporary differences it can be created so for permanent differences they will definitely give a note it is permanently not allowed for tax purpose or it is not allowed for tax purpose like that they will tell you clearly okay then I will give you an example we are going to solve this let us assume ABC incorporated signed a contract okay and the details are given to you signed a contract for let us assume 20 million for three years period to construct a building okay so for accounting purpose and for tax purpose okay for accounting purpose they use let us assume cash basis recognition for tax purpose they use let us assume proportionate completion method okay so for books of accounts they use cash basis whatever is realized they record it over a period of three years this much of profit is recorded for cash basis uh, let's assume first year 2 million was recognized second year 4 million was recognized and third year 2 million was recognized for tax purpose first year 3 million was recognized on proportionate completion basis second year also 3 million was recognized okay 3.5 million was recognized and in the subsequent year in the subsequent year the balance 1.5 million was recognized how this will be accounted how this will be accounted first year your accounting profit is more than sorry less than taxable profit so you will create a deferred tax asset let's assume tax rate is 30 percent okay you will create a deferred tax asset so how much 1 million that is 10 lakhs into 30 percent okay if you pass a journal entry tax expense account data okay it will be like 2 million into 30 percent okay to cash or bank okay it will be like 3 million into 30 percent this is what you have to pay as per books of accounts 2 million into 30 percent 20 lakhs into 30 percent as per tax law it will be 3 million into 30 percent difference will be created as deferred tax asset account and debit the difference okay so like a journal entry method also you can learn or be a logical method also you can learn this is in the first year second year it's better to go by journal entry method tax expense account data tax expense account data how much you have to pay 4 million into 30 percent to cash or bank account will be 3.5 million 35 lakhs into 30 percent okay so will you create a deferred tax liability will you create a deferred tax liability 
No, it's a timing difference. It's a timing difference. See, if you look at the total profit recognized is 2 plus 4 plus 2, 8 million. Here also, 3 plus 3.5 plus 1.5. Total is 8 million. Total, total profit recognized is 8 million. See, how the profit is recognized differs temporarily. So, whatever was created as a deferred tax asset, you will close it here. Deferred tax asset will be 1,50,000. So it is not deferred tax liability. Please remember, it is not a deferred tax liability. Whatever is created in the first year gets closed in the second year. Okay, to the extent of one lakh fifty thousand. So when we go to third year, when you go to third year, okay. So let us pass a journal entry. Tax expense account debt are tax expense account debt are two million into thirty percent. To cash our bank will be 1.5 million into 30 percent. The balance 1 lakh 50 thousand deferred tax asset will be adjusted. So if you look at first year DTA created 3 lakhs, second year DTA adjusted 1 lakh 50 thousand. Third year DTA adjusted one lakh fifty thousand. So finally the difference will become zero. Finally the difference will become zero. This is an example of how the deferred tax asset gets adjusted over a period of time. Okay. This is this may not be tested in the exam. This may not be tested in the exam, but for your knowledge sake, I am telling you, sir, when the deferred tax asset or liability will get closed, once the timing difference is over, it will get closed. Sir, when the timing difference will get over, it may be 3 years like this or it may be 5 years, 6 years, 8 years also or it can be permanently also. Permanently means for about perpetually some differences will come every year. So, there may be differences like that. But for examination point of view, these things are most important for you. Okay. So, we copied this and this also. This, this we are not learning uh, how to create a DTA or DTL. This we are learning how DTA gets adjusted over a period of time. First year we created DTA, current year we created DTA. How this will be closed over a period of time we learnt. Okay. Now, how to create, we will see how to create DTA or DTL based on balance sheet values based on the balance sheet values let's assume the balance sheet is given on 31st December 2020 okay for accounting purpose and tax purpose okay Plan, property and equipment. Accounting purpose it is 15 million. For tax purpose it is 12 million. Okay. Prepaid expenses. Prepaid expenses. For accounting purpose it is 2 million. For tax purpose 0. For tax purpose okay, 0 amount. Outstanding expenses, which means expenses payable. Expenses payable, 4 million for accounting purpose and 2 million for tax purpose. Okay. Accrued incomes, for accounting purpose it is 5 million, for tax purpose it is 3 million. Incomes received in advance 2 million for this purpose and 1 million for this purpose. And uh, we have got uh, provisions for expenses. It can be any provision. It can be provision for bad debts or anything. Provision for expenses as per tax purpose it is 6 million or 5 million and as per 
accounting purpose it is 3 mil sir tax purpose it is 3 million accounting purpose 5 million so this has to be studied thoroughly okay so what is the net question is what is the net dta or dtl okay one of the most important question if the other question is a tough question mcq this can be tested and please remember uh, 100 questions you cannot skip any question okay so this question can be tested if your examiner wish to give a tough answer tough toughness okay let us analyze prop plant property and equipment for accounting purpose we have got a carried over balance of 15 million for tax purpose we have got a carried over this one of 12 million which means we have claimed more depreciation or more depreciation was allowed for tax purpose more depreciation was allowed for tax purpose so what will be the impact what will be the impact your tax profit will be less than accounting profit your tax profit will be less than accounting profit so it becomes a when tax profit is less than accounting profit we just learned when tax profit is less than accounting profit it is called as what deferred tax liability it creates a deferred tax liability how much difference 3 million don't apply percentage again here we assume that uh, tax rate is 30 percent tax rate is 30 percent i'll work out that tax part separately once again i repeat accounting base we have got 15 million tax base we have got 2 million 12 million more depreciation was allowed for tax which means taxable profit would have been lesser than accounting profit it creates a deferred tax liability then prepaid expenses for accounting purpose it is 2 million be careful on this for tax purpose it is zero so which means prepaid expenses expenses are carried forward to next year expenses are carried forward to next year in accounting purpose otherwise in accounting we have not charged this 2 million of expenses that's why it is coming in balance sheet it is carried forward to next year but for tax it was allowed on payment basis it was allowed on payment basis so here also more expenses are allowed was allowed for tax more expense was allowed for tax same impact will be there same impact will be there but the amount is different once again I repeat in accounting we are please remember these are not p and l account items these are all balance sheet values we are carry forwarding an expense of 2 lakhs we are carry forwarding an expense of 2 lakhs as prepaid paid in advance for next year this will be claimed or recognized in accounting only in next year for tax purpose nothing is carried forward which means fully charged in income statement so more expense was allowed for tax your taxable profit will be more than accounting profit it creates a dtl again then outstanding expenses for accounts purpose amount carried forward is 4 million which means this was charged in pnl account and taken to balance sheet for tax purpose it is 2 million which means in accounting in accounting we claimed 4 million of outstanding expenses in accounting we claimed 4 million of expenses on accrual basis okay claimed means charged in pnl account okay for tax we charged only 2 million of uh, accrued expenses so more expenses was allowed for or were, was was claimed in accounting so it will create what accounting profit less than taxable profit otherwise taxable profit is more than accounting profit other way of selling is taxable profit is greater than accounting profit it becomes a deferred tax asset item it deferred becomes a deferred tax asset item 2 lakhs 2 million you understand once again i repeat in accounting we charge the expense when an item will come in the balance sheet for example outstanding expense of 4 lakhs is claimed in accounts and carried forward to balance sheet but for tax we claimed only 2 lakhs and carried forward to balance sheet okay 
so more expense was claimed in account so accounting profit will be lesser than taxable profit and uh, deferred tax asset item incomes received in advance please remember this much 2 million of income is taken to next year we took it as an asset of course it will be recorded in asset side as income sorry liability side and this income will be recognized in the next year 2 million of expense for accounting purpose we have eliminated from income 2 million for tax purpose they have eliminated from income 1 million so for tax more income is recognized in tax more recognized more income is recognized in tax so you can say taxable profit will be higher than accounting profit it becomes a deferred tax asset item to the extent of 1 million on second i repeat for example income received let us assume it is 12 million 12 million is the income received in that we eliminated for accounting 2 million and carried forward to balance sheet okay we eliminated 2 million and carried forward to balance sheet for tax they eliminated only 1 million for tax they eliminated only 1 million so if you look at 10 million of income is recorded in accounts 11 million of income is recorded in tax example i am telling so if you look at more income is recorded in tax more income is recorded in tax your taxable profit will be more than accounting profit your taxable profit is more than accounting profit then incomes receive accrued incomes for accounting purpose we recorded an accrued income of 5 lakhs for tax purpose they recorded only 3 million okay so which means more income is recognized recognized or recorded in accounts so this will be accounting profit will be more than taxable profit it will create a deferred tax asset same it will create a deferred tax asset more income is recorded in accounts in accounts we recognized an income of 5 lakhs but in tax it's only 3 lakhs recognized 3 million recognized so your accounting profit will be more than taxable profit it creates a deferred tax asset provisions are charged in pnl account and it is an unpaid amount or it is just an estimated amount okay so for accounts we have got 5 million of provision that is charged in pnl account for tax 3 million of provision is charged in pnl account so more expenses was claimed or charged in accounts more expense was charged or claimed in accounts so your accounting profit will be oh sorry here i made a mistake more income is recognized in accounts so accounting profit will be greater than taxable profit it will become a deferred tax liability item so more expense was charged or claimed in accounts so what happen this impact accounting profit would have been less than taxable profit so accounting profit is would have been less than taxable profit so otherwise you can say taxable profit is greater than accounting profit we learned this already defer tax asset item 2 million so when you look at the net impact add up all the defer tax liability items 3 plus 2 plus 2 dtl you just add 3 plus 2 plus 2 7 million dta dta 
टू प्लस वन प्लस टू सिक्स मिलियन सो नेट विच ऑन इज मोर so next detail net detail item is 1 million once again yeah this is 5 million so net detail is 2 million items are 2 million so deferred tax liability will be 2 million into 30% this is how you need to work out okay this you have to do uh, in the examination don't worry they will give a calculator they will give a i mean a piece of paper for doing this working and you have to solve it and give it it may take 5 to 10 minutes of time yeah uh, uh, for 100 mcqs it will take time it will take time for certain mcqs you know out of the 100 mcqs that are tested okay we have you have got time about 3 uh, hours which means 180 minutes okay so based on the past experience which i am having as well as from the students end whatever i hear okay 30 to 40 questions will take less than a minute okay so 30 to 40 questions will have, will you will take less than a minute to solve okay uh, around uh, 30 questions will take 2 minutes of time okay around 20 questions will take 3 minutes of time so if you work out the time it will be like 30 let us take lowest end 30 into 1 30 minutes okay for this particular thing 30 minutes for this particular thing 60 minutes okay for this question it will be another 60 minutes okay remaining 30 minutes you can give it for the balance question kind of a thing this is how they allocate the timing and work out okay so certain questions will take even 5 to 10 minutes of time also you have to mark them and skip it you can answer them at the end questions will come in the screen you can skip it and you can answer it later also you can review and submit later also okay so this is a kind of a lengthy answer question that can be tested in the exam so whatever i explained it to you it will be there in an organized way in a formal way of discussion in the material that is there with you you can go through this is what you can see you want to pay this much you have to pay this much so difference will be taken as deferred tax asset okay you want to pay 100 but have to pay 90 means difference will be taken as deferred tax liability you can go through it will be like an additional reading for you this is like want to pay and need to pay difference is 5000 liability otherwise your accounting profit is more than taxable profit it becomes a deferred tax liability we have done even asset and liability method also we have done even asset and liability method also you can see this particular thing this is most important if it is reported in if it is reported in taxable income if it is reported in taxable income okay your taxable profit will be if incomes if incomes are reported in tax first your taxable profit will be higher than accounting profit it will be taken as a deferred tax asset okay if it is recognized in books means accounting first it is taken as a deferred tax liability okay opposite thing will happen for expenses you can go through all these things at yeah, this question a liability that represents accumulated differences between income tax expense in the books and income tax actually paid is called as simplest question okay defer taxes permanent differences okay i told you already they are permanently different permanently disallowed items and permanently disallowed expenses cannot be reconciled cannot be reconciled for example uh, municipal bond interest which is received is not taxable okay so in accounting you will include this income but in tax you will not include the income in tax you will not include this income so definitely the income difference permanently will come so uh, that will uh, cannot be reconciled okay 
expenses incurred for the purpose of earning income that is exempted income lic paid by the corporation life insurance proceeds all these things may be either exempted for tax okay this one this expense cannot be claimed for tax permanently life insurance premium cannot be claimed permanently if you get back the life insurance proceeds it will be accounted but not taxable expenses incurred in the violation of law i told you it is not deductible for tax but still you will claim it for accounts for example you paid a penalty for violation of law you will claim it for accounts but you cannot uh, claim it for tax because it is not allowed it is not allowed okay so this is about it so learn from the material that is a classroom discussion that we have done uh, because i have done elaborately with examples because if i just give you certain examples you may not be able to understand okay once again to recollect if accounting profit is more than taxable profit defer tax liability if accounting profit is less than taxable profit defer tax asset an expense is recognized first in accounting then in tax it will result in accounting profit less than the taxable profit defer tax asset okay an expense charged first in tax and there on in account later on in accounts it will create an taxable profit less than accounting profit so it will create a defer tax liability defer tax liability okay income that is recognized first in pnl account later on in tax okay accounting profit will be more than taxable profit defer tax liability if the income is recognized first in tax then in accounts defer tax asset we had seen based on pnl account out to recognized and based on balance sheet method okay out the dta will be closed also we learned for knowledge sake then this is one of the most important part that we learned how to create a dta or dtl yeah, if you are using a mobile phone for viewing the lecture it will be a big constraint so that's why i recommend you to use the laptop for viewing the lectures once again so hope you understood the concept of defer taxes clearly then as i told you in the last uh, lecture session or video <coughs> we will be continuing with accounting for leases accounting for leases in the next session okay so there are two types of leases financial lease and operating lease how to categorize or how to classify that into financial lease and operating lease we will discuss separately have a great day